Hello everyone, Lytro Storm here, and today we're back with part 3 of What If Lily and Kenny Swapped Places. In this part, we're going to be covering the events of A New Frontier following our Season 2 finale. So, if you're not already caught up on the series, feel free to do so now using the link in either the description or comment section. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. We left off Season 2 with a few different endings, so let's address what happens through all of them. If the group went to Howe's, it'd eventually be left due to them running out of supplies or being raided. If the group left Wellington, they'd just be traveling around. We pick up with Lily, Jane, and Clem traveling in the woods with AJ. Sadly, it means if you add Sarah, she probably dies in a flashback, but if you left her at Wellington, maybe there's a chance she's still out there somewhere. She's determined in Season 2, so I can't really let her be involved in the story of Season 3. Plus, it's Sarah, so if anyone, her dying makes the most sense. Also, the reason why Jane is alive here is because Luke and her never did the deeds, so she never got pregnant. If you've seen her flashbacks, you know where she ended up after finding out where she was, but we get to avoid that here, which is pretty rare. Anyway, the trio get locked into a trailer in the woods together when they hear someone outside. Jane would protest, Clem opening the door, and Lily would just hold her gun in silence. Clem can choose to let this person in or not. If she doesn't, they break in themselves. The reaction from Lily and Jane will be somewhat hostile, but after she introduces herself as Ava and tries to reason with them, they'd be more willing to listen. Here is where I think we would get an interesting split from the canon timeline. Lily thinks the New Frontier is a good idea, but Jane refuses to get involved with a big group. Clementine can choose her own path here, but Lily does take AJ with her, as it's the safer option for him and Jane agrees. But there is another ending I haven't talked about just yet. If Clem and AJ went into Wellington, they would escape as it's being destroyed. They end up in the woods alone, letting Ava in, and that all goes about the same. But Ava mentions that she got separated from her friend not that long ago. After either wanting to join the New Frontier or not, walkers are heard being killed outside. Ava opens the door and helps out, and Clementine follows shortly after. Once all the dead are finished off, Ava and her friend reunite, and Clementine hears a familiar voice. It's Lily. The two reunite, and Clementine proceeds to join the New Frontier with Lily. Anyway, some time passes, and Clem ends up getting caught stealing some medicine for a sick AJ. I generally don't see Lily, who's gone through so much to keep him alive, being complacent and letting him die of some random illness. So Clementine is kicked out with the New Frontier, and Lily leaves with her. Ava tries to have one final meeting with the two, hoping to convince Lily to return. And since Ava and Lily have become really close during this time, I think Lily would ultimately make the decision to go back. They aren't even able to keep AJ out there due to David, so there's no point in leaving for her. She wishes Clementine good luck, and even gives some pointers on where she thinks Jane might have gone since their separation. Clem can either end off on good or bad terms with Lily here, or ignore their relationship in favor of telling Lily to make sure AJ survives no matter what. Lily and Ava then depart, heading back to the group. At some point, Clementine and Jane reconvene, which we might get a flashback of since there's really only one death, and that's not even for sure, and that's Sarah. So if you don't have Sarah with you, you get to see how Clementine and Jane reunite instead. That's pretty cool. But anyway, if you can kind of see what I built here, you can either choose to go to the New Frontier with Lily or just be drafted straight into it if you went to Wellington, or you can choose to not join it with Jane, but no matter what, you end up reconvening with Jane at the end. The first actual change in this what-if is going to make in a New Frontier outside of flashbacks is that when Clem takes Javi back to Prescott, you'd meet her friend Jane. She tells Clem to calm down after she raises a gun on the jerk who ripped her off. Clem lowers it before any mistakes can occur, and Jane forces him to double the bullets she was meant to give to Clem, or she'll report this whole mess to Trip. The dude agrees, and Clem and Jane walk out with Javi. Nobody gets locked up, but Trip still doesn't want to risk going out for Javi's family at night. He'd rather they wait. Eleanor checks up on Javi's cut, which he plays off as if it happened before they came to Prescott. Eleanor offers to go after Javi's family later that night instead of waiting. Everything here goes the same as it did in canon, except that Jane stays behind instead of Clementine since she wants Clem to go back to Prescott. Javi buries Mariano with Jane, who tries to relate and help him through it. They return before Prescott is attacked by the New Frontier, who use Francine as a hostage. This plays out the same too, and our group escapes with Jane going as well. After they meet Jesus and head through the subway, the whole Clementine situation will either happen basically the same, or under different circumstances based on Clem's choices of joining the new frontier. In the version where she doesn't, Conrad would overhear Clem and Jane's convo to Javi about how their friend joined the new frontier, and would decide to use that as his bargaining chip. Maybe their friend wants them back, and would be more accepting of them if they brought them. Anyway, Jane would obviously be wanting Conrad to put the gun down and let go of Gabe, and Javi can choose to shoot him or go along with the plan. 
If he goes with it, Jane would apprehend Conrad at the first chance and leave with Clementine. If not, Jane explains to Clementine and Javi that she doesn't want to get mixed up in all this stuff again, so she's going to head out. If Clementine was part of the New Frontier, she'd leave with Jane. Clem is somewhat upset but understanding, and Javi can choose what he feels about it. Jane wishes them her best though, and so does Clem if she goes. So when you approach New Richmond, you can either have just Conrad, just Clem, or none of them. Anyway, David shows up and takes Kate, leaving everyone else in quarantine except for Gabe, who follows him. We might see Lily briefly during Javi's short time in Richmond, but it wouldn't be very much at all. Anyway, the group is kicked out, but given a map to a place they can go. They head there, but get attacked by walkers. Luckily, they're saved by Jane and potentially Clementine, though. After that, the whole gang makes it to the location, but are forced to get a quick way inside due to the walkers. Thankfully, since Jane is an extra person to hold the fence and kill walkers, if Conrad is with you, he'll survive even if you didn't give him his weapon. David then arrives, but Jane and Clem both want to leave him outside. Jesus disarms Clementine if Javi doesn't let him in, which surprises and deters Jane from fighting him. Jesus then lets David in too, only for Clem to hold him at gunpoint. They solve their issues and proceed to find Badger, Max, and Lonnie chatting about their supplies stolen from other settlements, but they're not the only ones there. Clementine, Jane, and David hear an all-too-familiar voice. It's Lily. It should really be no surprise that Lily's involved in the raids based on what she was willing to do for the Delta in Season 4 canonically. Sure, she's went through a good bit of development, but Season 2 definitely hardened her even despite that, and things afterward weren't so great either. But maybe she's not so bad. David and the crew confront Lily, who is surprised to see Clementine and Jane. A battle ensues with everyone splitting off. Jesus goes after Lonnie while Clementine and Jane try to question Lily. And of course, Javi has his iconic match with Badger. Lily fights off Jane's accusations, claiming that she was unaware of the true destruction caused by these raids. She had just recently joined this elite group, thinking their actions were best for the community, and others too. Jane 1v1s Lily, but doesn't find too much success, forcing Clementine to also join in the battle. Both of them together are able to take Lily down after a brutal struggle where none of them really want to hurt each other. After Badger is dealt with, the group rallies around Lily and Max. Clementine, Jane, and David are all willing to let Lily live after hearing her story, but Max is up to Javi. Although Lily does tell him that Max is not even close to the level of Badger, and that he could be useful as proof of what the New Frontier is doing. Anyway, the gang heads outside where they meet Jesus who had no luck in catching Alani. He then says his goodbyes, and our gang treads onward toward Richmond. Clem, Lily, and Jane all want to find out where AJ is from Lingard, but David compels Lily to come with him so that they can start up their resistance against Joan. She agrees to this, and the group all splits up. Eventually, we get the same confrontation with Joan, and Javi and David end up in a cell. Joan takes David away while Javi is busted out by either Kate or Gabe and rejoins the rest of the group. Ava and Lily are both there too, and they decide they should go to the armory to get weapons. They do, however, want to go in a small group, so Lily stays behind while Gabe and Javi follow Ava there. She also agrees to try and convince Kate and the others to help stay and fight for Richmond. Javier leaves to get patched up by Lingard, only to find Jane and Clementine waiting for him to wake up. Clem wouldn't want to divulge her whole bleeding thing to Javi though, since she's been with Jane a long time and probably already asked her about it. Javi gets his stab wound fixed by Clem, and Lingard wakes up. Here, Jane would be very adamant on letting Lingard die to find out where AJ is, but it comes down to Javi's choice. Jane does it if Javi allows them, or if he does nothing. Lingard then divulges the information about McCarroll Ranch, where AJ is being kept, and dies. Or he doesn't tell anyone, and survives, but Jane threatens him. She eventually gives up on the threats, and the three leave. They meet back with Ava and Gabe, and return to the group. They also make a plan to steal a truck with the help of Ava, and then go onward with said plan. Conrad also leaves if you've still got him. Javi, Kate, Clem, and Gabe get the truck and spend the night in it. They later get radioed by Ava, who tells them that David is about to be publicly executed and that they need to come right away. Kate stays behind in the truck to pick them up afterward, while the others head off. At the execution, Joan reveals that she talked with Eleanor in private and brings out Trip, Ava, and Jane as well. She remarks that these three gave them quite the trouble once they were caught, but it's a good thing their friend decided to help them out, and not just Elidor. Lily then steps out from behind the curtains without any guards on her, and Joan says that if she wasn't there, they might not have captured everyone. Clementine meets eyes with Lily once more before uttering one word, traitor. And that's where we're going to leave part three of what if Lily and Kenny swapped places. 
Just like in season two, Lily is clearly walking a fine line on where she ends up between both sides of good and bad. How do you think this betrayal will end with Lily and Jane now both being in the mix? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, a huge shout out to our members, Kyler Fiend, Wax and Parrot Fish, Ellie to Plug 2, Paul Keen, Fonklox, Hazy Brush, I Am Bored, Scintillating Susie, Roderick Hare, Raven, Marco DeCinco, and Crayman. If you want to become a member as well and help support the channel and help us get more videos out, then feel free to do so by becoming a channel member for just $2.99 a month. You also get access to awesome perks like exclusive community posts and priority comment replies as well. But as always, tell me if you like this part, tell me what you think will happen next, comment your request for future videos, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, have a great day.